be. Um, uh, as a teen, you know, I was just uh, really immersed in, uh, you know, Woody Allen films and uh, the dream of a more urbane future. And, and, and university seemed like the, the, the most direct path to um, getting up to uh, uh, social hijinks in Manhattan somehow. So I went to University of Victoria. Somehow I thought that would expedite things. And uh, there I, I really uh, was very fortunate to work with some extraordinary art. For me, uh, it, was, it was quite a profound uh, awakening as, as a young student. And I do endeavor to try to recreate that experience for my students I, I, as best I can. And one is, I, I guess I, I remember what I came into university doing. You know, I, I drew a lot. I think a lot of young students coming in, uh, you know, are drawn to uh, the study of fine art because they draw, and um, which is fantastic. And we try to build on that, encourage that, but. Um, otherwise, my my understanding of the art world was, uh, you know, just a very kind of surface understanding, and um, a big part of it is taking the expectations of a student, you know, coming in and just turning them on their head, um, uh, uh, knocking them sideways, disorienting them, getting them. At, at least that's what what I went through, and um, there was nothing more liberating. I felt than than having uh, all of what I knew pulled out from underneath me. Yeah, we're just I'm just in the process of setting up a, a special shared facility between the engineering department and the School of Fine Art and Music. And what we're doing is we are collaborating to uh, share space and resources for prototyping tools, contemporary industrial. Um, uh, machines and software that enables us to take a three-dimensional model and uh, using laser scanners and special um, interfaces and uh, machines that allow us to physically manipulate digital data uh, we can make models that we can then literally just print out in ABS plastic so we have a machine that allows us to make very sophisticated uh, components or the molds for components, which we can then have cast as multiples. And uh, we also have a really heavy-duty industrial tool, a water jet cutter, that is going to allow us to do very ambitious um, uh, projects uh, at a very large scale. And um, it, this is a facility that is not just going to be used by artists, but we have people uh, on campus that are doing all kinds of crazy research in environmental biology and... Uh, um, physics and so on that have expressed interest in it. So we, we want to have artists and engineers rubbing shoulders in the production of their work and getting a, a little synergy going there. Uh, the Sobe Art Award, uh, the Sobe Art Foundation is based in the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia and every year they select curators from across the country to adjudicate uh, an award for the top artists under the age of 40. And uh, working with my collaborator Daniel Young, uh, we were very, very fortunate and flattered and humbled to be uh, selected as, as the 2011 uh, Sobe Art Award winners. And it's, um, it's been an overwhelming thing. Uh, there's not much in the uh, Canadian art world to prepare you for uh, galas and accolades of this kind. So it's, it's um, been really tremendous um, and it's a wonderful thing. Uh, the award does foster a kind of national dialogue uh, between uh, the regions of Canada in a way that didn't really exist before. So um, that's a really positive aspect of what um, the Sobe Art Foundation has done. Finding one's commitment as a, as a person or as an artist is 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 crucial and key. And I think you know if you ever already made the decision to go to university, then uh, you're kind of um, you're well on your way. I would say that uh, remaining open uh, to a possibility while you're here with the idea that it's your job to find that commitment uh, of where your energies are to be uh, are to be focused. And uh, that's the amazing thing about, or certainly when I was a student, is finding these extraordinary individuals who had made such um, 
uh, such a dedicated commitment. And um, it, it's, it's very difficult for any artist to make such a grandiose claim as I'm trying to make the world better through, through my work. But one wants to have an intelligent conversation with one's world. And, uh, you know, certainly the more intelligent conversation there is, it can't be a bad thing. I mean, that may uh, seem like I'm, you know, underselling the idea a little bit, but a lot of grandiose claims get made in the name of, you know, making, uh, you know, a big change or making a, a profound political statement. And uh, it's an artist's job to be, you know, critical of all kinds of claims and to show a path towards a, a critical understanding of one's world. So